Uh, hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. It's Thursday, wipe day, October 3rd, 2019, and there are a couple of changes to Rust Electricity today. Let's take a look at uh, three new things that happened. Uh, first of all, when we go into crafting menu now, there's an electrical section. For those of you who uh, do some more nerding out on servers and so forth, there's also an electrical section uh, in the console. But for the average user, this is a great quality of life improvement here where now you don't have to go searching for components by names or typing in electricity and getting most but not all things. They're all right here to be seen. Uh, interestingly enough, um, the other thing that you will see showed up this time, which I can't actually unlock at the moment, is the Tesla coil. It's a thing. And it's a 10 high qual and one tech trash. Uh, so... In game, the two new things are the Tesla coil, which we'll get into in a moment, and the wire tool now has a new behavior that made it to production, which is the uh, animated tracing of electrical flow. So now anytime you have your wire tool out, you can actually see which direction electricity is flowing. Uh, this is going to be great for some of my videos, but for those of you trying to figure out how to do electricity for the first time, especially with the introduction of turrets, being able to see the direction of flow will certainly make this mess of wires on the wall and floor a lot easier to understand. So that's another fantastic improvement. Uh, let's take a look at this Tesla coil real quick. I'll do a component guide on it here in a little bit, but here's how a Tesla coil works. You give it power, it makes noise and sparks. Uh, this is only two units of power right now. That's its minimum. I got 25 here, or 15 here. Is that what I got? You can see that the more power you give it, the more active and vibrant the animation gets, and the more significant the damage is. Uh, so if you're giving this thing two units of power, it can slow down and annoy players. If you give it 100 units of power from, uh, say, a large battery, it can really mess people up and kill them rather quickly. In fact, it can do it in just a matter of seconds. There is, however, a downside. Its health drops by two units per second while it is active. So you do have to be aware that this is not a thing you just turn on and leave to defend your base. It is something that you're definitely gonna want to use as a triggered component and use it sparingly. Uh, you can, Repair it. Oh, I can't repair it yet. Gotta wait 30 seconds. You can repair it with high qual. Uh, it only takes a few high qual to repair, so it's not particularly expensive uh, to repair compared to building a new one. But uh, yeah, definitely worthwhile. So, there we go. Took me three high qual to get that up to full. I think it only takes a few to get it back up to full. Uh, looks like I'm losing my wind power. Uh, the other thing is that we still have a couple of bugs that exist. Uh, the first bug, which I probably can't even show you. Let me turn, take this off. Maybe I can. There we go. Uh, the switch is still bugged. So uh, it still has the issue where uh, when you connect something up to this on toggle, it uses the power from the on toggle instead of using the power that's coming in the bottom. Um, it's actually getting, uh, what is this, 36 divided by 2 be getting 13. So instead of getting 13 through, it's getting the 4 through from what I'm splitting out of the branch here. So that's still bugged. Um, and when you turn it off from here, it is now... Oh, looks like I can still trigger it, but you see it doesn't turn on. So, uh, yeah, switch is still bugged. Uh, hopefully they'll fix this soon. I mean, it does still work as a regular switch. I guess I have to rewire it completely to get it to work again, which is annoying. So it is still working as a manual switch. But stay away from the switch on, switch off toggles. They're still bugged. They'll still kill the unit, and they'll still take the wrong amount of power through. So, uh, yep, work in progress. Maybe that'll work eventually. The other thing... I showed off another bug previously uh, in production and staging, which was when you pick up a display that's on the floor, it takes any displays in the area with it. 
um, and they don't go to your inventory, well, in that demonstration, the one I picked up went to my inventory, and the one next to it just disappeared. Well, uh, what I didn't bother to try was picking up another component nearby, like, say, this branch. Whoop. <laughs> Where did the displays go? They're gone. The counters just disappeared, Not didn't go into my inventory. So be aware of that. If you're placing counters on the ground, uh, don't be surprised if they disappear and evap evaporate into thin air. Uh, with no trace if you pick up components around them. So that's a very annoying bug, especially if you're playing on a legit like vanilla server and components actually have value. Uh, if you're on a 100x or a battlefield or something, then who gives a crap? You can make as many as you want. So uh, there you go. We have a new electrical menu. We've got animated wire tool for the wire illustrations. We got Tesla coil. Um, switch bug isn't fixed, and the counter on the floor bug isn't fixed. So there you go. That's uh, October 3rd, 2019, and look for more videos coming soon, uh, especially on the Tesla coil, because uh, there's going to be a lot of possibilities for trap base and trap base enhancement with this new little gem. That's it for now. Good luck, and don't suck.